are homemade upgrades. Um, scrapping stuff from inside my garage. I had a random belt off of a robot. It had some nice grippy soft stuff on the inside, so I used that to grab my hoses. And found a couple springs in there and replaced the red, the black bungee cord that was on there. It's a little bit more professional, but you know. Uh, we put a new leveling valve on the truck. The old one was leaking like crazy, so uh, we got a new one on here. It quit leaking, and life is good except for all these cracked up hoses back here. We got to address all that stuff here in the future. But that's looking pretty good. So we've got some Corvette tail lights on here since we have a Corvette dash. I figured it would only be fitting, right? So um, these lights actually came off of my parents' coach. This is the second set of lights I've stolen off their coach and put on here. Pretty soon the things I'm gonna have lights have left on. Um, but these are actually Corvette, like um, C5, um, C4, C5 Corvette tail lights. And there are 52 LED segments and they're really freaking bright bright um hopefully i'll never have to change another 1157 bulb the whole reason for me changing these light fixtures was because the old fixtures were cracked um it's letting water get in there and it was killing the bulbs like almost like I, I, i've lost three bulbs and i've only run the truck six times so um yeah no more bulb changes hopefully more upgrades um, this fuel cap over here was broken, so I grabbed the fuel cap off that side, brought a brand new one for that side. By the way, good lord, these things are expensive at the Peterbilt dealership. That one cap was $100. Um, remind me to never lose one of these things. Um, I pressurized this tank from the MPT fitting on the top of the tank with some air uh, to check and make sure it didn't have any leaks in it. I sprayed the entire tank down with soapy water, put air inside of it. Um, I didn't see any leaks on the outside of it, so I decided to put 10 gallons of fuel in there last time I stopped for fuel. And so far I haven't seen any fuel leaks on the outside of it. Next time I'll put like another 25, 30 gallons in there and see where we are. And hopefully I will have a functioning second tank so I'll actually be able to extend my range a little bit. Did a quick install on the CB radio here. Um, it still has all Don's wiring in here from the amp and stuff. So hopefully once um, Don has a chance to go up to New York and grab the, the old radio and the amp, we can uh, put those in here. But for now we just have a little basic uh, Cobra 25 deal. more upgrades um there was a fan in here somebody took the fan out so i found another fan in the shop um it came out of another project and decided to wire it up and now we have a nice two-speed defrost fan up here it's not the factory fan because the factory fan is expensive as crap but uh, it'll get the job done we also cleaned up some of this area there's some extra brackets up here and stuff that didn't really need to be here and um it just looks a lot better up here now that we got everything cleaned up Hopefully the next step will be putting a radio in here that functions and also has a GPS screen on the front of it so, uh, so I don't have to worry about that. Also, I found this in the bag of stuff that I got with the truck. And even though I'm not a half a million mile freedom trucker, that's kind of, uh, it's an homage to Don. Thanks Don, you did this truck really well for four years. 